from the Opus Radio News Center. This is an Opus Radio News Update. And I'm Al Quartermont with your expanded web news update. He's the man accused of killing 12-year-old Lexis Roberts and dumping her body in Catahoula Parish. 53-year-old Thomas Stephen Sanders will be arraigned at 10 this morning in federal court in Alexandria following his indictment last month. Lexus's body was found in October near Harrisonburg. The body of her mother, 31-year-old Sue Ellen Roberts, was found in November in Arizona. A new grade school for Rapids Parish. This will be of the green variety. The environmentally friendly school will be located in Woodworth as the district is in the process of acquiring a 33-acre site off Highway 165. It will be a pre-K through 8th grade school and should be open by August of 2012. Alliance Design Group will build the school, which will be paid for by an $8 million bond issue approved in 2009. They're calling this year the Year of the American Spirit, a group called Americans Making a Difference, holding a rally at noon today on the steps of the Rapids Parish Courthouse on Murray Street in downtown Alexandria. The group started by former U.S. Senate candidate Milton Gordon, who lives in Alexandria. Gordon wants to see more people getting involved in their local government. Let's talk about some state news now. A couple of local state prisons could see some changes. The Jindal administration is asking the private companies who oversee the Wind Correctional Center up in Atlanta and the Allen Correctional Center in Kinder to detail how much they would charge the state to care for inmates if the two prisons are sold to ease budget problems. The responses to the request for information are due today as part of a possible move towards selling the correctional centers. Lawmakers are holding a series of meetings around Louisiana where they'll receive public comment about the upcoming plans to redraw the state's political maps. The redistricting meetings begin February 17th in Covington and will run through March 1st with a stop here in Alexandria. Other stops will include New Orleans, Houma, Baton Rouge, Lake Charles, Lafayette, Shreveport, and Monroe. Members of the House and Senate Governmental Affairs Committees will explain how the 2010 census figures are requiring a redesign of the political districts. They'll take suggestions about how they should be redrawn. The legislature will meet in a March 20th special session to redraw district boundary lines for the State House and Senate, the Public Service Commission, the State Education Board, the Louisiana Supreme Court, State Appeals Courts, and also the U.S. House delegation that will drop from seven members to just six. Governor Bobby Jindal is in the nation's capital for the annual Washington Mardi Gras celebration. It includes attending parties, rubbing elbows with members of Congress, lobbyists, and collecting another round of campaign cash. The governor will return Sunday. While in Washington, Governor Jindal will also attend two fundraisers for his fall re-election bid. A lot of things going on in our community this weekend. Let's tell you about some of them. First of all, No need to head to New Orleans for jazz. You can enjoy the sounds of A-Town Jazz tonight, 7 p.m. at the Coughlin Saunders Performing Arts Center. The Luke Jazz Trio from Natchitoches, under the direction of Luke Bruyette, will feature guest vocalists Matt Henry, Rodessa Matoire, and Patrick Buckhalton. Cover charge for A-Town Jazz, $20 per person for the entertainment and hors d'oeuvres. Go Red for Women with a couple of events today as part of the American Heart Association's efforts to promote women's heart health. Rapids Regional Medical Center will hold a balloon launch at 10 this morning in front of the Rapids Health and Lifestyle Center. And over at Cabrini Hospital, they'll host several events in their MRI CT Center atrium beginning at 11 a.m. The man who wrote the authorized biography for former Louisiana Governor Edwin Edwards will be in Alexandria tonight. Leo Honeycutt will discuss his book at 7 p.m. at the West Side Regional Library. Honeycutt will also sign copies of the book, which will be for sale after his lecture. Let's take you to the theater this weekend. LSUA's Empty Space Players continuing their performances of Mrs. Warren's Profession at the Crest Theater in downtown Alexandria. Shows tonight and tomorrow at 7.30. Sunday matinee is at 2.30. Louisiana College with its final performance of The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, 7 p.m. tonight at the Martin Performing Arts Center. If you enjoy opera, LC's music department will perform selections in their original languages. Concerts at 7.30 tonight and tomorrow in the Presser Recital Hall with free admission. And a couple of events tomorrow. The Red River Arts and Crafts Guild with a show at the Rapids Coliseum Exhibition Hall from 10 to 5. And the Alexander Museum of Art is hosting its second Saturday market at the museum. It will feature local farmer produce, specialty foods and products, local food vendors, and local original art. They'll also have a children's activity booth and live music with Tyler Claiborne. 
In Friday sports, should be a nice afternoon, making it a perfect day for baseball. The Louisiana College baseball team hosting an NAIA school out of Illinois, McHenry University. First pitch, 2 p.m. at Billy Allgood Field. Same two teams will play a doubleheader at 1 p.m. tomorrow. And the NSU Demons keeping hold of first place in the East Division of the Southland Conference. Will Platt scoring 21 points to lead the Demons to a 70-68 win over Lamar. NSU has now won three straight. You can send us your news, Senlaw News at Opus Broadcasting.com. Have a great weekend. I'm Al Quartermont.